Hey everybody, we're, we're back. back. And guess what? So is the monorail. Slowly, slowly but surely. It's, it's here, look. Monorail. Oh, so excited. So we're gonna go to Disneyland today with, so come with us. Let's go. It's not. Look at those suckers. Walk of But regardless, the air conditioner is not on. And it is hot in here. It's a little sweat bucket car full of people. The Tomorrowland Monorail Station. Along the way, you can get a bird's eye look at the downtown Disney district. Disney's Grand Californian Hotel and Spa, and Disney California Adventure. To the left of the monorail is the main entrance of Disneyland, the happiest place on earth. Disneyland is truly an American Oh, original. now they found Since the gas pedal. It has hosted hundreds of millions of guests from around the world, including presidents, kings, and celebrities. It is the kings, everybody. There's two celebrities. <laughs> Harbor Point. Look at he's waving. All the cast members. Why are we stopping? We're not. So be sure to remain seated. Keeping your hands and arms inside the cabin. Yo, so bird. Oh, look at that line. So, busy day at the park. Diamonds are waving. Our pilot would like to share a few program reminders. All right, we're cruising now. Good late, late morning. Welcome aboard, Monorail Blue. This is your captain. The Disneyland Monorail system will be shutting down at 7 p.m. this evening. And also, at the time of the month, we have the Blue Screen Star Fireworks Spectacular. Disneyland will remain open until 11 p.m. Theme park gals and the theme park kid thought they just died. 
We didn't. Newsflash, we're still here. However, that was very scary. Scary. It's a small world. And now we're riding alongside the happiest kingdom of them all, Fantasyland. Home to Pinocchio, Snow White, Peter Pan, and other storybook characters. Also, if you have a stroller, please do not open your stroller until you get outside of the monorail. Approaching the Tomorrowland Monorail Station, our final destination. Please One remain seated until the monorail comes to a complete stop. Then collect your belongings, watch your head, and step carefully from the train. On behalf of all of our crew, thanks for traveling with us. And we hope you'll have a happy and memorable visit here at Disneyland. So, oh my goodness, um, that was kind of scary. Yeah. First of all, they were going really fast. Well, and then really slow, and, and really then slow. they built it up. And then it went boom, and everybody, everybody, it reminded me of the time I was on a plane, and we had just taken off, and all of a sudden it hit an air pocket, and we hit, we came down like 50 so feet, scary. and I'm looking at the ground, and everybody on the plane went, oh! Everybody just did that here on, on the monorail, and the driver apologized. Yeah, it was weird. It was nice to be in there. Wish they had air, air conditioning oh going. God. It was so hot. It was like a sweaty little bucket in I there. Apologize if I soaked the seat. Um, <laughs> so bad. <laughs> it was very sauna-like in there. It was. But it was fun and nice to have it back. It was yeah. scary, though. Where are we headed off to now? Um, let's go check out Tomorrowland and uh, the, see if we can get reservations to that Magic Key Lounge that's going to disappear. If you even disappear. have to. Let's go. Here they are, the Disneyland band. They're about to play. to see what you gotta do to get into the Magic Key Terrace. You can see Diane in front. Um, but yeah, we've never done this, so we're gonna check it out. Go up there, I can take a picture. They're playing Christmas music. So there's some snacks over there. There's charging stations right there. A Christmas. Oh, and if you look, so here's a better look. You can see they have a little thing for you to put your camera in so that everybody can go get the pictures. And those are the backdrops. They have three different backdrops that are going on. Um, interesting. 
So we are joined by theme park kid Alonzo. Uh, just experienced the Magic Key Lounge. Now, when we came last time, which was a couple months ago, right? Yeah. Um, you had to get reservations. They stopped that. It's going only until the end of this month. So we thought, why not check it out? Our experience? It was... Go ahead, Lonzo. It was okay. It was, just, it was just pictures, taking pictures. I thought it was very stupid. Um, there's not nearly enough seating. No. To utilize their chargers, you have to bring your own charging cable. What good is that? And it was tiny. Yeah, it's small in there. And they had uh, a little area where somebody was selling cotton candy and chips and soda, but you can't take your mask off. Yeah, it, it was, I'm sorry, it was dumb. It was that. Really dumb. That for them saying that this is what we're giving you guys, yeah. I don't, keep it. I would be really upset if we got a reservation and waited all day to go in there. And there was no air. They no. said in the literally in the description, it's like come in, beat the heat. Where? It was hot. I would like to know where I can beat that heat. Yeah, it was hot. Not in there. So I guess out of five stars, I'm gonna give the lounge a two. Yeah, I was gonna say two, just to be generous. So, I'm not being generous. I'm being real. One star. Hopefully they change that to something different next month. So. Yeah, because that's not good. Let's go look at, uh, I call it the building that's not really being utilized because we never go in there. It used to be Carousel of Progress. I don't think it's open, but we're going to go check. Innovation slash, what is it, Launch Bay now? Launch Bay. Launch Bay. Let's go check it out. Star Wars Launch Bay. All right. So we're at Star Wars Launch Bay. It says that it's not open. It says enjoy another attraction presented by Hewlett Packard in the wrong land. Why is there a place called Star Wars Launch Bay when we have Batu? It makes no sense to me. No sense in my brain. Nobody's ever going to help it make sense to me. Um, this thing belongs in Batu. So we walk by here quite a lot and I don't even really think of it. And the day I decide I want to go in, it's closed. No Star Wars Launch Bay. So we're at Star Wars Launch Bay. There's this thing here on the ground. It's this circle in this spot here. And if you stand on this circle here and face that direction, I can already kind of hear it. Your voice kind of vibrates off of this corner and it kind of sounds like you're a droid from Star Wars. So I don't know if you, you probably can't hear it, but I'm talking right now and it kind of sounds almost like when you talk into a fan yeah, it does kind of like, like roboticize that. your voice. Yeah, so it kind of roboticizes your voice. Interesting. And look at water for you to let your kids wash their hands in. Going on Autopias, also known as Autotopias. We had a cast member call it Autotopias too. And that's not a fact. Um, However, we're always loading on this side. I've never loaded on that side. We had the opportunity to load on that side, but the cast member stopped us. Somebody's a little bitter. Just a little. Smidge. Smidge of bitter. Smidge of bitter. Like her coffee. Okay, so we're on the Autotopia. Diane is driving. As you can see, she's let Mr. Toad get into her head. <laughs> Joy Sober! Joy Sober! And Lonzo is back there somewhere. One of the downsides of riding the monorail. The monorail? Or just oh, this one? the Autopia. We're just sitting in the sun, baking. Oh, and we're off! So, yeah. We stumbled upon Alice! Alice. And Alice. the Cheshire Cat! Cheshire! They don't care. So, Autopia's was fun. It's always a good time yeah. going on Autotopia. It is. And it was the, probably the shortest ride we're gonna, line we're going to be in. It was only 20 minutes. Yeah. And then we just saw Alice and the Cheshire Cat. Oh, such oh. fun. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> and on our way to Rancho Del Zocalo, uh, to see if they get got some kind of Halloween stuff or food or whatever. Yeah, so that's the weird part. I'm not super impressed with the Disneyland app right now. It shows you things like, oh, we've got this fun Halloween ice cream. Oh, look, there's this fun Halloween shake looking thing. Doesn't tell you but where. But it doesn't tell you where to get it. Yeah. 
So, um, yeah, yes, not does. super user friendly. So, we're, yeah, we're hungry anyways. We're heading over to Rancho, so let's go grab some yeah, food. Let's do that. So, we got our Rancho del Zocalo. We got the tostada. It's again. so good. It's so good last time we got it. So good. We're going to share that. Lonzo, can I show them your plate? Yeah. Lonzo got chips. They got the cauliflower tacos, and they come with rice and beans. Thank you, Lonzo. So, we did find that they had some um, Halloween drinks. Yeah, horchata. Yeah, so they were, one of them was called, okay, that one is the creamy horchata. Cinnamon. It has sweet, creamy cinnamon rice and milk beverage served over ice. Too much cinnamon. So, as Diane and Phoenix will tell you, I'm a picky person. <laughs> So I didn't want to pay five dollars for something that I didn't know if we were gonna like you. it. Yeah. Sorry, we like you guys. I will but... not I cannot drink all that. She wouldn't drink it and Lonzo doesn't drink that. Yeah, and then this one it's called Milk Mamie. It's a vibrant tropical Mamie fruit with flavors of persimmon, sweet potatoes, stone fruit, and vanilla, and it's served over ice. Um, it's not a pretty color. Yeah, it's not. It looks like, like the color of vomit, if you can see that. She said it. I said it, because I'm going to call it like it is. That was my foot. Oh, I'm sorry. Um. So yeah, we, we tried both of them. The horchata wasn't bad. I don't... Too, too much cinnamon. There was a lot of cinnamon in it. This one, I don't... I don't know, it didn't really, it kind of tasted like air, I guess, like. Like air, no, I thought it was too. It was very potato -y, sweet. Potato-y, sweet potato-y. Yeah. I just don't want to drink a big cup of sweet potato. It's valid. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, they were, I wouldn't get it. $4.99 and $5.49, I didn't want to pay it. So, um, so we didn't get it, but those are the Halloween offerings they have here at Rancho. Um, we had a wonderful day. It hasn't been a bad day. It has been a day of surprises, we'll say. We Hot thought we were, was fun. Hot when we almost died on the monorail that's now almost open. Died this morning. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, monorail's open. Monorail's open. So exciting. Yeah. Uh, it went a little fast too. Yeah. And we got to see Alice, Alice and the Cheshire Cat. And we saw the Magic Key Lounge. Not worth the reservation. No, I'm glad we didn't go that day, like yeah. wait in that line. Yeah. Um, I would have been so upset. So the day that that stuff opened, the line was ridiculous. You had to scan a QR code, then they called you back and you had an hour time limit in there. An hour time limit for what? Yeah. Is my question. Yeah. It was better when it was the arcade. Yeah, it was yeah. much better when it was, it was the arcade. arcade. Um, and it wasn't cool in there. I did enjoy taking the pictures. That was fun. It was fun. Um, but it's always fun to take a picture. You know. Was it? Yeah, I, very, very and then they disappointed. And snacks, but you cannot eat them inside. But you can take them with you. Suppose yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. Um, but this tostada is calling our name. Yeah. So with that, our movie, movie quote. quote. Okay, so we're going to do monologue with Doorknob and Alice from Alice in Wonderland. And Doorknob says, Sorry, you're much too big. Simply impassable. You mean impossible. Oh, impassable. Nothing's impossible. Did he call her fat? Bye, Bye. everybody. <laughs>